2023 has been such a stellar year in gaming for nearly every genre and subgenre. LEGO 2K Drive wasn't the only highly awaited toy car racer slated for this year. Milestone wet their feet with the Hot Wheels property back in 2021 and it's sequel time already. It's time to get unleashed again. This is the Xbox Era review for Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged. You know what Hot Wheels Unleashed needs? A story mode, said nobody ever. And yet, that is one of this sequel's main additions. Okay, Hot Wheels is a property mainly aimed at young folk, but the plot doesn't make much sense even when applying a bit of suspension of disbelief. A genius scientist is experimenting with resizing creatures and accidentally creates five dangerous kaijus that are wreaking havoc. So, of course, the natural solution to make them no longer dangerous is resizing them into extremely tiny violent creatures instead. But instead of stopping there, our young male and female protagonists have to also be shrunk down and beat them by driving around in small Hot Wheels cars. And to get there, they need to win multiple races against other toy cars first. Whilst the general comic book style animations aren't bad, they also don't add anything to what is essentially the same format as the previous game. Over the span of five chapters and as many boss battles, which are nothing but standard driving events where the player has to hit certain targets on the racetrack, the player is tasked to beat these miniaturised kaijus with nothing else than generic track hazards. Aside from that, players will have to traverse top-down maps just like before, hopping from different events and challenges. While most of them can be completed in any car, some optional challenges and events enforce specific picks or limitations, providing a bit more variety so that the player can't just always use their favourite car. In fairness, I've found there to be a handful of difficulty spikes, most notably in the drift events which are a tad harder than the rest of the game from my experience. Nothing too bad, mind. Fortunately, this not particularly memorable story mode isn't all the new this sequel has to offer though the meat of it is how the game feels rather than what it actually offers in terms of new features. It's hard to put into words because you have to grab a controller to understand it, but Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged, what a mouthful of a title, yeesh, feels better to drive. Drifting, power sliding, turning and all of that jazz feels smoother and even more arcadey, making it easier to stick to the optimal line lap after lap. The game also retains the smart turbo mechanics from the first title, whereas drifting, drafting and collecting boosts makes it pretty easy to pretty much hold down the extra speed boost for almost the entire lap as we traverse the colourful plastic tracks made of straights, turns, loops, traps and more. Of course, Unleashed 2 also retains the extremely toy-like, so to speak, plastic physics of the previous game. Whilst cars are fast and fairly easy to control as if it were Mario Kart or other similarly accessible racing games, these cars are made of light plastic like the Hot Wheels cars that they mimic. That means that turning too hard into a corner or clipping an edge too fast can legitimately send the car flying like it used to happen to our plastic Hot Wheels cars in real life, keeping a level of risk that's not normally found in such arcade racers. With the game featuring a jump button that you can activate via sacrificing some boost and many tracks effectively featuring obstacles that have to be jumped over, there needs to be a level of attention closer to serious races at times. If you're looking at Unleashed 2 for your kids however, don't be scared. There are various difficulty settings with the easy one featuring some extremely forgiving AI. The sequel also features a larger variety of game modes, most of which are also featured heavily in the campaign. These range from regular races, elimination events where every couple of seconds the last place driver is thrown out of the fight, drift events, time trials and some others. Whilst the core gameplay never really changes drastically, it's all about mastering the insane twists and turns of each track. There are plenty of modes to do that in, albeit no new real ideas are found outside the previously mentioned and rather underwhelming boss fights. Much of the Hot Wheels experience is also the actual collection of these shiny little plastic toy cars, and that is definitely the case in the video game as well. This is certainly a very meaty launch, with over 130 licensed Hot Wheels vehicles available from day one, and more to come likely in the future. These range from iconic ones like the Twin Mill, the Dragon Blaster, all the way down to IP crossovers with the likes of Fast X, Snoopy and more. The vehicle types as well offer more variety than the previous game, ranging from street racers, bikes, quads, 4x4s and even novelty cars. 
Judging by the previous game's crazy crossovers, such as DC or Barbie, it's safe to expect even wilder collaborations in future updates. The cars can pretty much all be unlocked for now via regular play, either by buying them with in-game credits in a rotating store or by the game's loot box-esque spin reward system. With each vehicle that can be upgraded by adding all kinds of variations to their stats on top of the customization of the look itself. It may seem like blasphemy to customize the iconic color palettes, but the player can do just that, changing every paint, color, material, even applying stickers and more. It's not quite as deep as what you'll find in the latest Forza Horizon or Need for Speed, but it gets the job done. More importantly, the level editor from the first game makes a comeback as well, with even more blocks and new environments to play with. And once again, the player can customize their own profile and private space by changing their banner, posters in their room, and so on. As always, the game features free race modes alongside local and online multiplayer alike, although I've not been able to test the quality of the latter out before launch. In terms of graphics, the game absolutely delivers on Xbox Series X where it was played. Vibrant lights via HDR, cars and tracks reflecting them realistically, excellent toy car models, vibrant colours, and most importantly an apparently very stable 60 frames per second all around. The game's high speed and atypical look makes this one of the more interesting racers on the market from a visual point of view, with many elements really popping out of the screen on an OLED TV. So, Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 Turbocharged. It's an extremely safe, but ultimately very fun sequel. The new story mode doesn't change the formula, but the new game modes, the tons of content and customization on top of an improved core gameplay make this an exhilarating racer for young and old alike. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and hey, why not ring that notification bell so that we can let you know when we've got some new Xbox content. And we'll see you next time.